Want to know why? Ask how. Howard the Humongous. The second Trump impeachment should have been about truth, but it was not. It was a battle between two groups for dominance in America, the Democrats and the Republicans, the anti-Trumpists and the pro-Trumpists. A new CBS News YouGov poll shows that during the last year, there's been a substantial growth in one of those groups and a shrinkage in the other. Thirteen months ago, during Donald Trump's first impeachment, 49% of Americans felt President Trump should not be impeached, and only 47% felt that he should be impeached, which means that the pro-Trump group was two points ahead. Then came the violence of January 6th, and in a CBS News YouGov poll released February 9th, that balance had changed. 56% of Americans now felt that the Senate should convict the president. Only 47% felt that Trump should get off the hook. The pro-Trump group had gone from winning by two points to losing by nine points. This second impeachment charges that Donald Trump deliberately triggered the violent invasion of the Capitol buildings. In fact, the insurrection of the Capitol was directed more by Donald Trump than some of us knew. Jessica M. Watkins is a 36-year-old Army veteran, bartender, member of the militant right-wing group the Ohio State Regular Militia, and a leader of the armed right-wing group of military and police veterans known as the Oath Keepers. Watkins viewed the inauguration of Joe Biden as what she called an existential threat. She wrote to one of her recruits, quote, We already have our neck in the noose. They just haven't kicked in the chair yet. Watkins worked with a bevy of other militia groups to return Donald Trump to power. Violently. She said she was willing to fight hand-to-hand to overturn the election of Joe Biden. She organized what she called a quick reaction force to stay outside of Washington, D.C. on January 6th, ready to rush in guns, quote, if it goes bad, unquote, and if Trump ordered his followers to, quote, storm the city. She reported to her co-conspirators that she commanded a squad of between 30 and 40 battle-trained Trump believers. On January 6th, those 30 or 40 dressed in combat helmets, camo, tactical gear, and bulletproof vests then helped lead the breach of the Capitol. When Watkins was in the Capitol building, she gave her squad orders using the walkie-talkie phone app Zello. In the weeks before the attack on the Capitol, Watkins sent a text that revealed how she felt her every move was in response to President Donald Trump. Her exact words were, quote, I am concerned this is an elaborate trap. Unless the POTUS, the President of the United States, himself activates us, it's not legit. The POTUS has the right to activate units too. If Trump asks me to come, I will. Otherwise, I can't trust it. Watkins eventually got what she considered to be her orders to come to Washington from the president, probably from his tweets about his Stop the Steal rally. Not only did Watkins help break into the Capitol building, she was giving orders to her platoon of fellow invaders inside the building. Meanwhile, rioters like Watkins and her squad got within a hundred feet of the nuclear football that the vice president's security staff carries at all times when accompanying Mike Pence. If the worst had happened, the invaders could have triggered World War III. But how you see depends on where you stand. How you see depends on which group you belong to. And in the battle between pro-Trump and anti-Trump groups, Democrats and Republicans look at the impeachment trial in radically different ways. If you're a Trump loyalist, you believed the 2020 election was stolen by Joe Biden, who pulled off massive election fraud. So if you were a Trump believer, you may have agreed with QAnon Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene that Joe Biden should be impeached, not Donald Trump. In fact, you were likely to believe that the Capitol riot was engineered by radical liberals to make Donald Trump look bad. What's more, if you were a Trump follower, you may well have believed that the invasion of the Capitol was led by Black Lives Matter and Antifa which means that if you are a Trump follower, you ignored the fact that 230 of the Capitol Hill rioters have been identified so far, and none of them have turned out to be Antifa, Black Lives Matter, 
or liberals. In fact, all of the rioters arrested have been deep believers in Donald Trump, and they are not the deplorables that liberals usually believe. They include attorneys, winemakers, business owners, and people with a college education and beyond. Again, how you see depends on which group you are a part of. So if you are a Democrat, you saw Donald Trump shaking faith in the 2020 election roughly a year before Election Day. In every rally, you saw President Trump grinding an idea into the brains of his followers, the idea that mail-in ballots are election fraud. You saw Donald Trump claim that any ballots counted after election night are illegitimate. You saw Republican state legislators in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan appear to collaborate with Trump by not allowing mail-in votes to be counted until on or just before Election Day itself, increasing the odds that many of those ballots would not be counted until after Election Night, which, according to Trump's made-up new rule that votes counted after Election Night are illegitimate, would make every mail-in ballot fraudulent. Most important, if you were a Democrat, you saw President Trump encourage people like Michael Flynn and retired Lieutenant General Thomas McKennerney to publicize their idea that if Trump lost, he should declare martial law, invoke the Insurrection Act of 1807, declare a state of emergency, stay in the White House, and have the election rerun under military control. And you saw President Trump underline this with a slogan he repeated over and over again the only way we can lose this election is through fraud. In other words, if you were a Democrat and watched President Trump carefully, you saw that he was setting this nation up for a coup. You saw him tell the violent right-wing gang, the Proud Boys, to stand down and stand by. And you saw him tell armed militias in Michigan and other states with Democratic governors to take to the streets and liberate their states. You saw the demonstrators who responded to Trump's calls show up with military-style assault weapons. What's more, if you follow Donald Trump's messages to what he called his, quote, Second Amendment people, close quote, you knew that one path Donald Trump would take to a coup would be violence. In fact, I put out two videos on this YouTube channel trying to warn you of a Trump coup long before January 6th. So if you are a Democrat, you saw President Donald J. Trump putting together the pieces of a violent insurrection for close to a year. And you probably believe that a president who leads an attempted coup has committed treason and must be impeached. You also probably believe that a president who has attempted one violent coup may try it again and must be barred from ever running again. Again, how you see depends on what group you belong to. Your entire reality depends on the lens of your group. Two different groups live in two different realities, two different worlds. So if you are a dedicated Donald Trump partisan, you believe that the entire impeachment process was the Democrats' way to keep the strongest rival Democrats could face on this planet from running against them in 2024. Donald Trump. You may even believe, if you are a Republican and a Trump fan, that on March 4th, Joe Biden will be swept aside and Donald Trump will be inaugurated as the 19th President of the United States. That's a point of view that's being promoted by the QAnon movement, along with the belief that President Trump's return to the White House will usher in the storm, the grand upheaval in which prominent Democrats will be rounded up and executed. But one way or the other, if you are a follower of Donald Trump, you are certain that the entire impeachment process was one of the biggest hoaxes and witch hunts in history. Again, what you see depends on which group you belong to, and the impeachment was a battle between groups. This is Howard Bloom speaking to you from the future. It's your job and my job to make, or... <laughs> Want to know why? Ask how. And now for the sleeky, sleazy, somnolent, sonorous, 
little off button. God, where is it? Okay, I think I've got it. 